Hot Cine Stalker back here for a video, and I'm back at the comics and stuff shop because I screwed up. And I was here a couple days ago. I screwed up, and I didn't buy some out of print titles that I should have bought. And you guys pointed out to me, so I'm gonna go in there real quick, kind of like a follow-up video uh, to buy those titles and maybe see what else is in there that I might have skipped over out of print. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just dumb. So let's go do that right now. Hopefully they're still there. Let's go see. All right, so here we go back in the comics and stuff. This is like my probably like my uh, third day or something going in here within the past week so the person that works here probably thinks I'm a nutcase I mean this is the thing that I should have gotten it's, it's like wow to print goes for like, a, like over a hundred dollars or something like that on Amazon it's like one of the most expensive shriek show releases and I did I passed up like an idiot I thought it was like only worth like 40 bucks and it goes for a hell of a lot more than that so I'll be getting that as my goof up and there's also another title here that I screwed up on it is um where's it at that might be gone now Da, 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 right here, this one, the uh, Truth or Dare. Uh, I think this thing goes for like over like two hundred dollars. He's just listed for that on Amazon. It's not even on eBay. This thing, I have a VHS of this. I thought it was worth like really nothing, but I, I guess, man, I screwed up bad on that. So that's cool. It's still here. So I'll definitely be getting those. And I'm gonna kind of go through here and see what else I can get. I mean, I'm probably gonna, who knows? Go through all these titles. I already got this one, a code red one, and see what else I can find and hopefully not look over this time. I might get this one too, Out of the Dark. It's kind of a cool one, not really worth a whole time. I think it's like 15 or 20 bucks, but I might get that. I was going to check it out. Let's see what else I can find here. I'm going to check this out. It might be worth something, my science project. And then see what else is in here to get. I know this ain't worth a damn thing, so I'm going to go through here some more. Let's see what is in the pile of DVDs. The other bins, I'm gonna see what's through here. Um, look around for a little bit, I see some much, mostly just some Blu rays and stuff, some pretty cool ones, but I'm gonna double check to make sure they didn't miss any out of print ones or what have you. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe I have again. <laughs> oh man, I hope not though. I guess like some TV show stuff over here, some little sets. I think I'm really seeing it. I got that. It looks like it would be out of print. I'm looking again real quickly. If see anything. Nothing too much that sticks out of my mind. Kind of looking around. Let's see what we got here. I was looking around. I'm not really seeing nothing much. I think I got the main things right here with this and that. I'm just looking a again briefly, but I think I'm okay. I think I got the out of print stuff this time. I'm definitely gonna get these. I figured might as well show you guys the store real quick, the comic book shops, what kind of stuff is in here. I have a lot of cool toys and whatnot, so might as well show that briefly. Why not? And here we're looking at the comics. I have these uh, Ghostbuster ones. I don't know if they're like the old ones. Oh, yeah, they are like the old ones. Check those out. That's kind of cool. I don't know if they're all old ones. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get one. I'm not sure. But I used to always get these when I was a kid. They're pretty cool, especially when like, uh, Ghostbusters 2 came out. I got some of those from, from, for that. These like new ones right here too. So it's like some new ones mixed in with some old ones. We'll see new ones it looks like. Yeah, we'll see new ones. That's kind of cool though. Old toys like mask. That's kind of neat. And I don't know if there are any other interesting ones. Hercules is like, yeah, it's okay. Toolsylvania. It's kind of like a Robin and Prince of Thieves. Not bad for 10, 10 bucks. It's also a Crypt Keeper toy. That's pretty awesome. Dragonheart. Land of the Lost. Some pretty neat little retro toys. I don't know, this is why I'm walking around like this. She got this uh, Toon Turtles, Teenage Mutant Turtles, Toon Vernon. That's kind of neat. I think I've seen those for a long time since I was a kid. Like they're like based on the cartoon, like the look. That's kind of cool. And then these like cool Terminator 2 NECA. Figures. That's kind of neat. This thing's like, I don't think I've seen this, this one before. There's a whole Schwarzenegger one from the original movie. That's kind of cool. The messed, the messed up eye and stuff. And he takes it out with a scalpel. That's kind of cool. And if we get the Text Chainsaw Mask or one, he's wearing green. It's like a, like a video game one or something. The Atari video game edition of it. I don't know. 
to be. Go back to the table where I got these at. And look over here, and it's like totally look, like thrash looking now. Like some people, maybe they're, maybe they're looking for these. Like they couldn't find them, but like people were like looking through some tapes. Like all like rummaged through and everything. Like, oh man, that's crazy. It's funny this is still here. Maybe I'll get that sometime, but it's kind of a crappy movie. I'm just looking around here again. And I'm going to skip anything. Check this out. Look, that's kind of cool. Check Boogaloo Breaking 2. Like MGM box VHS. And like down here is like a bunch of like Lex Luger WO figures. Like that's nobody wants Lex Luger ones. This ain't a Lex Luger one, but uh, that's a test. But check this out. He's even a couple Lex Luger ones over here. Some regular uh, Lex Luger. It's kind of weird looking, doesn't he? Look at that. For like seven dollars, you can get this. <laughs> oh man. Check this out from the old WCW, which I was not a fan of WCW back in the day. This is button with some arms move. Let's see. I don't know. I'm sure we can make it move. Nope, can't make it move. Look at these old WF Jax figures. Those are always kind of cool. Check this one out Psycho Sid. Psycho Sid looks kind of weird looking right there. <laughs> oh man. This is pretty cool though. Look at that old, like, late 90s colors. Yeah, definitely 90s, that's what I thought. Late 90s, 97. That's kind of cool. Engine of Doom, Headbangers, Godwins. Check that out, Ken Shamrock, Rocky Maivia, not even known as The Rock yet, Rocky Maivia. That's comedy. Sonny and Vince McMahon. <laughs> oh, man. I just love comics and stuff. You pretty much know the titles I already got, but I'll show you real quick anyway, so this way you know I got them. All right, first up here, I picked up this Truth or Dare. I had this on VHS, and apparently this DVD goes for quite a few bucks on Amazon. Like, I saw it for $200. I don't know if it's going to sell for that much, but hell, it's listed on there for that much. And I didn't, I didn't see anything of this on eBay, so might as well get this. And then last up here is this, the Shriek Show. High school horror ones with Hell High Majorettes and Hitcher in the Dark, which I'm excited to see Hitcher in the Dark. I always want to check that one out. I have Majorettes, and I've never seen Hell High, but it looks really fun. This set right here goes for like a hundred dollars. It's one of the more expensive Shriek Show releases. I have a couple other ones of the Shriek Show ones at home, but uh, this is I'm excited to get this. We're not back for 25 bucks. Hell of a bargain getting that right there. So not bad. A couple of cool out of print ones. That I know you guys were bugging me about to get, and I went back here and I got them. So thanks for letting me know about this stuff. Definitely appreciate it. It's cool that I got these. I'm surprised they were still there. That was cool. Really quick video, just me uh, going back here, getting those out of print uh, DVDs and stuff like that. So that was really cool. Um, yeah, quick little thing, random as hell. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys later on the next one. If I missed anything else, let me know. I'll go back and try to get those. But yeah, I'll see ya. It's bonus footage right here. I was gonna film in there. But I couldn't film it because there was like there's music playing and stuff like that. But I found something cool on the way home. I found this awesome, cool retro toy right here. I was like, holy crap! Found it in the back. Pretty badass. Pretty damn cool find. It's where I found the Swamp Thing toys at, and I found a uh, James Bond, uh, old retro James Bond Jr. toy over here too. And I found out something else pretty cool and retro. Pretty much a cool retro kind of day. Let me show you right now what I got. Pretty awesome. All right, so I ended up getting this really cool retro toy that I totally forgot about since I was a kid is this bionic six figure in awesome condition by lgn i thought it was a pretty cool toy line back in the day they also put out some video games like the uh, teensy surf designs fire 13th game i believe and some other ones are kind of a pain about to play they put these out too i totally forgot about this cartoon i saw this there it was in the very back of the bin even pricey, I saw it like in a box. I was like, how much do you want for this? And I get this, but he's like, eh, let me see, yeah, $5.99. So I get this for $5.99. I looked on eBay, this thing goes for like around $100. I think it's one listed on there for like $93. So who knows what this can go for, like 100 bucks probably, maybe like 80 bucks, 100 bucks realistically. But an awesome find right here from the year 1986. How cool is that? I don't know if you guys remember this cartoon. It's kind of a cool cartoon with his family up here. Uh, this the group of six. They got superhuman powers and they fight off the evil forces of Dr. Scarab's evil minions of uh, destruction. And I got one of the evil minions named Glove. That is awesome. I think I remember having one of these figures as a toy. I think I had this guy 
and like one of the figures up here is it like as a, as a kid but i was like whoa my god the intro up on youtube and i totally brought back memories i totally forgot about this show so if you guys remember the show but uh if you guys do let me let me know down below in the comment section but this is a damn cool find definitely happy to get this friggin awesome thrift shop here veterans thrift for the tea they always had a lot of cool things and i found another cool thing over here which, which is this this is this friggin killer right here i can't believe i have this in damn good condition insane for six bucks and like change with tax unbelievable one hell of a day for buying stuff and for going back to the comic book shop and getting those out of print titles and getting this now pretty much an out of print toy very very cool i wish i would have got footage in there but they're playing music from blaring and stuff they're about to ready to close so that's why i didn't record in there but it's a cool thing awesome little bonus i thought i'd share with you guys pretty damn cool day awesome day right there cinder stalker style and yeah now the video will end right now if you guys enjoyed it for a quick little video of me going back to the comic book shop getting those out of print titles and then uh, scoring this right here friggin cool awesome times i'll catch you guys later i'll see ya oh yeah i'll see ya